What's good, YouTube Nation? It's your boy, the Otaku Gamer 316. I'm back at you with another video. In today's video, you already saw the thumbnail, so you already know what's going to happen. We're going to be opening up another waifu figure for this channel. I got this uh, waifu figure from my November monthly subscription crate from the Otaku Box. This one is Shion from the anime. The time I got reincarnated as a slime, it is the Ogre Maid Otaku Box exclusive. Basically, it's an exclusive figure. Basically, it only comes in the Otaku Box. Uh, I recommend you guys go check out my Otaku Box November opening, so that way you guys are basically caught up to date. And uh, like this video, subscribe, you already know what to do. But yeah, here she is. It is the Ogre Maid Otaku Box exclusive, 1 ninth scale. They're pretty small, but they're not bad. I, I do say they are not bad, and I do recommend picking up the Otaku box. And even though I'm not sponsored by them, I do recommend the content. I mean, like I said, I got this Pochita hat. Like I said, that's in the previous video. I probably would have to be pointing this way. But y'all guys get the point. So let's go ahead and get to this figure opening, shall we? So without wasting any more time, here is the box. Here is the artwork of the box. It's the Otaku box exclusive. Shion Ogre Maid. And she is from the anime The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. So let's go ahead and open her. Let's get in the little... Ah, God. Can I get in this crevice in peace? No, I cannot. Oh, this is not going to work for me. I am not trying to do anything off camera. I'm trying not to damage the box. And not to damage the box. Alright. Got the box open. Try not to make this video too terribly long, even though I already did that for the the Otaku box of November. So here we go. She has a nice little plastic. She has thankfully the apron on already, so that's a thing. So a bit of a oops, look going. That's uh, lovely. But uh, here's the figure in all of its glory. I'm gonna go ahead and take her stand out. Oh, she's... I hate these stands. I'm not gonna lie. I hate these little peg stands. It makes everything so much harder for everything. Oh, I gotta open this off of camera. I know I promised I wouldn't do anything off camera anymore, but it's like, I really don't got a choice in the matter. Yeah, ooh, the hole is very well detailed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a uh, risque, to say the least. Here we go. We got the figure. We got the... This is basically the figure. Like I said, removable skirt. Oh, apron thingy. We got to put her on her little peg thing. If this is accurate, I'm hoping this is accurate. I do not know, to be honest. I'm going to have to like look at her feet, see which one's the shorter peg. <laughs> I think it's like this. I could be wrong. I'm trying to put her on the peg correctly. Like, one wants to go in and the other doesn't. And it's like, I hate this so much. Oh, there might be a nip slip here and there. It's supposed to be easy, but these figures are never easy. I feel like I got it. No, I do not. And I am not trying to break this figure. I hate doing this and I do not want to pause the video but I might have to because I do not want this to be too terribly long but this is the figure it's a uh, very nice to say the least as a details if you know what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and get this on its stand real quick all right after struggling with this figure so much it's not even funny I finally got her on her stand and uh let me go ahead and do the 360 view of her really quick. So this is her out of the box and finally on her stand. That took way more than what I originally wanted to. But here she is in all of her detailed glory. Like I said, she has a removable apron that you can, you know, remove. But yeah, here it is. Basically like half naked, kind of. Don't want to get too much of it, but yeah. All in all, here's the figure in all of her glorious detail. She's like leaning, like like kind of like the Michael Jackson lean, but it's kind of weird. But 
yeah, all in all, it's a, in my opinion, it is a very, very good detailed figure. Like I said, removable apron, but that's up to me or the viewer. Basically, if you have this figure, then you already most likely have the apron off, but you know, that's just me. But yeah, here she is. She has, the details on this figure is very amazing to say the least because she has these, this little thingy right here. I'm not trying to get to the boom. I'm, God, I'm getting the damn boom. The, this little thing, I guess it's supposed to be like food. And of course you got uh, this thing right here. You got the food as well. This camera does not want to focus in Jesus Christ. But yeah, she has two little plates of food. And like I said, the figure in itself is very awesome. Very neat, to say the least. Full 360 view. So there's that figure right there. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Like the video. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. The analyst, the analyst data says... Almost a lot of viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so if you do want to see more uh, waifu figure unboxings like this one, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Click the bell icon so you'll never miss a video. And with that being said, the Attacker Gamer 316 is signing out. Peace.